I was going to be presenting on training the creative mind tonight, but um, ha, ha, we changed it. Uh, it's Kevin's March Madness, how to win your bracket. Ha, okay, this is kind of weird because again, it's, it's a computer, so I can't hear you laughing or not. So I don't know if I'm really uh, doing a good job, but uh, I am in fact <clears throat> going to be talking about training the creative mind. And it's kind of like creating a window. That's how you can view your artwork. So value in this artwork is all over the place. Making a rotoscope animation and then putting it in a mutoscope, which sounds really cool. Rotoscope in a mutoscope. But people, what? What's a rotoscope? What? What's a mutoscope? I get it. Because I'm so excited. I have my first two questions. So I'm going to answer them now. Um, the first person asked, um, you did this on Chromebooks as well as phones. Um, no, my students just used their Chromebooks. We have the uh, acrylic on and squeegee to a smooth surface. We bond it and, and create a smooth surface. So I can't stand chaos. And I also noticed that my middle schoolers don't read anything ever. So I don't, I don't, most of the time I just have big arrows pointing to stuff. I talk about the stuff, but I know they're not going to take the time to read what I wrote. I've learned that. Wouldn't it be really cool if we could build something, a floating sculpture of some sort, um, and tackle that? So I had a All right. Guys. All right. All right. Let's do this. All right. It's going to get a little bit wacky. Same saturation by the nine. It's just four shades darker. So here we go. And then here's a couple examples of a calming center. Um, I actually love this. Um, this is actually the NAEA lesson design challenge. Um, I think it's a fantastic graphic organizer and uh, visual of how the four artistic processes interrelate to one another. Um, I had a parent come in from India. I would ask them what their most famous artist was from their country. And then I've started incorporating in different artists that I'd never heard of before. A storyboard visually tells a story panel by panel, like a comic. Each group will use their storyboard as a road map to film their stop motion animation. Great. So how do I say to my administrator, you know what, I'm already doing the standards. We don't have to rewrite everything. This is how we're integrating the standards.